How about that B block right out of the gate? That's way it does a pretty good job of laying behind and staying, staying true to the center. <laughs> you like roll drag? You like roll drags, Jeff? That's my textbook oh, right there. Oh, nice collect there for Pedro. And now an opportunity. This has what a potentially. Ryan takes a look at it. Yeah, Smith now. He, it, the only thing, he, it would be great if he was coming from this side, but he's not. He comes from this angle. So he's going to try to almost use his own bag as a, as a backboard. Get in there. And sneak it in, and he does. <laughs> oh, my gosh. First half of this game felt very congested around the hole or a dirty style game, and now it's almost as if both sides of the board have kind of transitioned in. Eh. It's kind of getting tight. I don't want to rely on a roll or an airmail deciding this game. I just want to see if I can throw more bags in the hole than my opponent. This bag there by Ryan Smith kind of going right to left. My bad. Wow. Another opportunity here. We're going to see a little bit of a cut bag here. And ooh, rolls it in just over the edge of Alex's bags. And Rawls like, yeah, nice shot. Jimmy's pretty much all but in, maybe. What does Ryan Smith do? If he lays up, Jimmy Humans would have an airmail to just drag his own bag for the win. If he goes in, he puts pressure on humans. If he hits an airmail to drag them all, he guarantees the victory for himself. So much to consider on this last shot. Jimmy's looks like it's about to go in. <gasps> oh, flops right past it. Didn't even touch it. Unbelievable, and now Humans has to take this bag and the bag his hand and leave this bag by Ryan Smith, or Ryan Smith gets the win. On the way, and just touches it, drops one, not the other one. And Ryan Smith will survive and advance here in Vegas, wow. Yes, sir. That's not great. terrible, right, Trey? He's getting his way a little bit. That's perfectly fine. And now comes a huge, a huge airmail by Ryan Smith in this game. <laughs> I hear him. Don't mess it up. <laughs> 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 right, so oh, and Sheila says, don't mess it up. I love that. <laughs> Get out. On the way. Okay. And hits the airmail. What a Good shot job. by Ryan. Smith. That's one of the biggest shots he's hit this season. And Sheila Roy has to take a step Good back shot, and Ryan. give a little fist pump. Ryan angles that bag and rolls it in. What a beautiful shot by Ryan Smith, and he'll tie this game up. Incredible roll because you didn't want to roll on top of the bag on the left-hand side too much because if you knocked it too hard, it would go in. So he uses the right side pile, which is more stationary because you got multiple bags there. That is a pro-level shot by Ryan Smith. Oh, Trey, does he want to go again for the short airmail here? Get them both? No, I don't even think you want it short. You'd like to leave it there. Yeah, listen, listen, listen. We all know what they need here is a flopperoo. You better not. A flopperoo. The flopperoo is what I think Chad, Chad over there on row one. We agree. The flopperoo is what we need. Two bags in. We'll win it. There's one. This bag has got to be in, really. Now think about it. This bag. Depending on what you do. Got to be in. What you mean? I got to go in. Oh, Look, now all Ryan Smith has to do is board it. I'm convinced, by the way, Stewart and Smith have no idea what's going on. Look at that. They're trying to look like they know what's going on. They have no idea what's going on. Right, so Ryan Smith, all he has to do is board it for the win, but I think I think he's going to shoot it. I think he's going to shoot it just to go off of the bank. He'll do like he did to Jamie. He'll tell you he's going to do one thing, he'll do another thing, because he's a cheater and I'll file a protest. For the win. Oh, oh. Ryan Smith and Marty Smith oh. win it here at Hill. Hey, it's a big win for Schmedium shirts. It's a big night for Schmedium shirts, boys.